Yo, 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 it's Overflow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? First things first, man, on the gameplay. It's gonna be a, um, I don't know what it is actually this time around. I just know that I'm using the sniper. I probably get like a vicious or a nuclear or something in this game. I know the second gameplay, I get a nuclear for sure. But this one, I'm not really sure what it is. So whatever, just enjoy it, you guys. Using the thermo moors, apparently. And it should be good, man. It should be good. Uh, leave a like on this video as soon as this hits 100 likes I will be uploading a new video for you guys and I think the next video is gonna be a q and I'm pretty sure anyways today we're gonna be talking about how sledgehammer just announced Michael Condry sledgehammer the guys behind advanced warfare actually just announced that they will not be removing uh, skill based matchmaking they're, they're heavy believers in it Michael Condry personally believes in it they don't think that they need to remove skill based matchmaking they tweeted about it and you know had a long like news article about we think it's fair to have skill based matchmaking in that their game that way them their noobs ain't gonna get stomped on by overflow that's what they said basically in the video in the freaking news article thingy or something like that and i just wanted to give you guys my thoughts and my opinions on skill based matchmaking i think it's fair in theory but we gotta break this thing down real quick all right you guys Ooh, what's up flows don't you know who's i love all of you all right guys so I do want to announce this. I actually uh, heard about this from my friend OG X-Rays. So go ahead and check him out. His video and his opinion is going to be linked in the description below. And you know what? Um, You guys can... Like, let's go mess with his comment section a bit. That sounds kind of fun. If you're watching this video, go click on my friend's video. It's in the description. And just go mess with his comments. Just go... Let's go do something. I don't want to do anything malicious. But maybe saying something like... Uh... Uh, they removed skill-based matchmaking or say fake and gay or just say something like that in the comment section So he's like what I thought this was news. I, I don't know say go bug him But anyways you guys I expect to see you over there by the way But anyways, so they announced that they are not going to be removing skill-based matchmaking whatsoever They're heavy believers in it, and I just want to give my opinion I don't think that skill-based matchmaking has any place in Call of Duty whatsoever I just personally don't think so I think it should be all based of a connection and I've talked about this at length before but I do want to speak to you guys about like my personal opinions on it for me personally I just hit max prestige okay so I'm prestige master and every single lobby I get into is against good players you know what I mean there's always good players in there uh, if I get a lobby that's got like some noobs in it I'm super grateful and I'm like oh my god I don't have to go try hard pants every five seconds you know what I mean which is really really cool and it kind of sucks because a lot of these other youtubers a lot of the people you see dropping DNA bombs and getting attention for that these dudes aren't playing on their main accounts they're on like non prestige like reverse boosted accounts which is crazy to me and it doesn't really bother me it just kind of sucks because then I have like these trolls come to my channel like oh you're not that good bro you only got one nuclear but the thing is I'm getting like nuclears and like 70 kill games against people with like three KDs whereas these other people are playing against you know T Timmy no thumbs or whatever you want to call him but I, I don't know man so that kind of sucks because people will always find a way around skill based matchmaking and if they just had the game based off co of connectivity only it would be it would be cool to me it would be really awesome just because guess what sometimes you would get slapped in the face and other times you would slap people in the face like I just did to that dude a second ago and it just would be random dude and that was part of the fun of Call of Duty back in the day when you would go into a lobby and sometimes you would get smacked and you'd be like, dang, we're going to smack this round, guys. Let's, let's pull it back. Let's pull it together and come back with this win. Or you would get into a lobby with your buddies and you would just smash on the enemy so crazy bad. And it was just like the luck of the lobby, you know? The luck of the lobby. That sounds cool. The luck of the draw. The luck of the lobby, man. Back in the days. Back in my day, there was the luck of the lobby day. And that's what we could, uh, we, when we played it, everything was a nickel. I don't know if that's how old people sound, but that's how they sound to me when they talk about old days of Call of Duty. But I preferred it back then, man, because now, I mean, I can understand if you're not playing against good players, and so you don't really understand what skill-based ma skill ah, matchmaking does for the people who have to deal with it. Or I could understand if you're like, if you want to play competitive and so you want to play against good players all the time, I could understand that as well. But I think that at the end of the day, we all want to have fun. And we all want to hop on kill Call of Duty and get some kill streaks and do all that stuff. And to be honest with you, the skill-based matchmaking does take away that fun factor. And I know there's always people that are like, hey, bro, don't be scared. Play against the good players. Don't be scared, homie. Um, but the thing is, to me, like, to those people that Call of Duty matters that much to, then that's cool, man. But it doesn't matter that much to everybody. And for the most part, most of the people that I think that are saying this stuff like, 
oh, you should play against good players to test yourself. Well, that's great and all, but I think that most of the people, the people that say that are like little kids that Call of Duty is their life or whatever. So really evaluate where you stand at, you know what I mean? Like, if you're saying that to somebody, like, you don't want somebody else to have fun unless it's your standard of fun, which is being competitive. Um, you need to grow up a little bit and understand that everybody has different ways of having fun, man. I, I don't, I personally don't want to play against a competitive team every single time. Like, I don't mind playing against guys and getting smacked. But I definitely enjoy getting, you know, playing against noobs and just crushing on them. That's definitely an awesome thing, too. And one thing that Sledgehammer did not take into consideration is that when you go into these lobbies and they match you with other players of your skill level, they don't take into account that, like, some people play solo, man. Me, I play solo. So when they put me in a lobby with other quote-unquote good players... Guess who I get put into lobbies with? People in full parties. Because for the most part, when people have good stats, when they have, you know, a 3 KD, or when they have a 5 win-loss ratio, those dudes don't play by themselves. They play in parties. So, for a lot of the times, you'll get matched up against a full party. And because of that, you know, y the other team will be a full party, and your team will consist of some randoms, and um, maybe some randoms with good KDs, but at the end of the day... Uh, you know, I would rather be on a team of 1KD players that all are coordinating over a team that all the guys are randoms but they have 3KDs because coordinated teams are going to win most of the time. And for me, I just, I really don't see skill-based matchmaking being important in this game. You know, I don't want to, I personally don't think that every match should be a try-hard match like my buddy OG X-Ray said. He was all like, um, what did Ray say? He was like, Yo, I don't want to play every single match like I'm playing for some prestigious award. I'm not playing the Call of Duty million dollar tournament where I'm going to win, a, you know, a hundred million grand at the end of it. No, I'm just playing for fun. And that's that rings true with me. That rings true for a lot of people, I think. Um, I personally, I don't want to play that. You know, I'm not trying to win some trophy. I'm not trying to win a thousand dollars every time I hop on Call of Duty in some tournament. I'm hopping on a lot of times just to have fun like for me personally i just hit master prestige so i'm done dude like i'm done going like i was using the bal and the asm1 i'm done using those guns i'm not going to use them anymore i was only using them to level up and now i'm going back to sniping completely like i think that i have um 8,000 kills with the sniper rifles or 8,000 kills with just the moors i think i have maybe like 12,000 kills with the sniper rifles overall and with the Bal and the ASM-1, I now have 2,000 kills each with those guns. And I'm done, man. I don't want to use the most overpowered guns. I don't want to do that stuff. But for the most part, when you're in these lobbies, you're kind of forced to go and use the best guns and use the best setups just because you play with these other people who are good and who do good at the game, you know? And these other people do go try hard mode. And they're like, try, they're sweating their little booties off trying to beat you and get all the kill streaks. And system hack, system hack, his system hack left and right, bro. It's super ridiculous. And now that I've hit that Master Prestige and I just really want to snipe, I want to like go in and have fun and do a ballerina spin and get a 360 no scope. And to be honest with you guys, I'm going to play, I'm still going to play on my 15th Prestige account, but I just remembered my, I just like recovered my other account. So I'm probably, and that one's fresh, that one's brand new. So I'm probably honestly, dude, I'm just going to start up a new account and I'm just going to play for fun like i'm not gonna go in and try to get 100 kill games on these noobs or anything because i don't care to do that i just want to go with my sniper rifle hop in a game and have some fun because right now if like people play call of duty to have fun and there's weapon variety to have fun if i use xmgs or if i use a sniper rifle and try to have fun in a match you i like literally people everybody is using a bal and an asm1 and you just, there's no room to hop out in the open and get a shot off because people will take you out immediately. And like all these gameplays you watch on YouTube, the people on the other team don't shoot at the, at the guys, man. They just don't shoot at them. And it's because um, they're playing against people that aren't that great at the game. You know, they're playing against people that are brand new. And that, that kind of sucks, dude, that skill-based matchmaking is this way. I think that, because look, nobody has a problem when there's no skill-based matchmaking. Nobody has a problem with it because... They run into an equal amount of good players and bad players. Nobody has a problem with it. But with skill-based matchmaking in the game, it creates cause for concern and it creates room for complaint. So to me, I think that if you take away the thing that caused the, the, the ripples in the water, then that will make everything better, in my opinion. Because there was no reason to complain before, and now there's a reason, you know? And I, I just think that that's kind of sucky, and that, that's just my personal opinion. 
And for anybody who thinks differently than you, that's great. Anybody that thinks differently than me, if you think different or whatever, that's fantastic. But you're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> that's my opinion, man. And uh, that's also a fact. You know, if something... If there's no complaints at all, and then something gets added into it, at the end of the day, the only thing that could cause the complaints is that something that got added in. In this game, they added in skill-based matchmaking. Creating complaints, you know? And I think that's a pretty solid argument for me. If you got solid arguments, leave them in the comment section below. And um, I wasn't going to make this video, but I decided to because... Jesus, man, like, what do you not get? Like, nobody... I don't play Call of Duty to be professional. I ain't made shot, son. I ain't trying to be optic scumpy over here. I just want to go in and, you know, get some quack scopes, son. And that's all I want to do. Which is why I'm probably going to get on another account and just, like, play for fun. Because that's why I play Call of Duty. For fun. And, yeah, so... That's how I feel about it. Um, if you want to play competitive, that's your own problem, man. You don't have a... Your standard of fun is not the same for everybody. So... Keep that in mind. I think this was a good commentary. Yeah. Leave a like on this, you guys. 100 likes unlocks a new video. If you made it to the end of the video, go ahead and uh, uh, call me a noob. Yeah, just be like, you noob. Call everybody in the comment section noob. Everybody call everybody a noob. That's what I want you to do. Go to OG X-Ray's video in the description below and call him a noob. Love you guys a ton, and I am over and...